Hi, friends. Hi. Um, this looks a little bit different than what we're used to, and I'm really sorry about that. Um, Ms. Jordan ran into some crazy big car troubles this weekend and has been trying to figure out how to get everything fixed um, so that she's able to make it to work tomorrow and everything. Um, with that being said, I do um, just want to thank the parents real quick and just give them a huge shout out and just say thank you so much for your constant patience and understanding with me. Um, life is always crazy and um, I have, you guys, are, you guys are literally just the best set of parents I could have asked for. You just always understand no matter what's going on and never really um, are upset with me if um, things like this happen. Um, shout out to Amber as well. Thank you so much for being so understanding about all of this as well. Um, it's not easy. Um, and so thank you uh, again. So today we're actually going to switch some stuff up just a little bit. Um, we're going to talk about COVID a little bit and we're going to talk about um, two words today. Um, but before we even go into that, I'm going to ask you all a couple questions. Um, we're going to talk a little bit and then we'll, then we, um, we'll do our craft that we have today um, that I have for you all, okay? Um, so first and foremost, who is the smartest person you know? Who is the smartest person you know? Okay, I will give you just a second to think about it, okay? Who's the smartest person that you know? Who's the smartest? Let's see. Okay. Um, is it somebody in your family? Maybe somebody at school or on TV. Maybe it's somebody that you go to church with. Yeah? Why don't you go ahead and tell me who's the smartest person you know? Awesome. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, who's the smartest person I know? I think my... I want to say my grandfather. My grandfather is very smart. He has a lot of... Um, he has a lot of smarts. He's very intelligent. Okay, now I have another question for you. Are you ready? Okay. Who is the wisest person you know? Who is the wisest per person you know? Yeah, that one's a little bit trickier, okay? It's a little bit trickier, okay? Who is the wisest person that you know? Yeah. Okay. Well, I looked it up on the internet and I found two books. Um, the World's Best Advice from the World's Wisest Women and The Wisest Man in America. But I don't really think that helps me too much, does it? Um, it doesn't really tell me a whole lot, right? Um, what about in the Bible? The Bible, we hear about the three wise men, right? The three wise men followed the star of Bethlehem to see baby Jesus, right? So that's three wise men, right? Well, what is the difference between being smart or knowledgeable and being wise? Does anybody know that? Does, what, what, is the, what is the difference between being smart and knowledgeable and being wise? What's that difference? Does anybody know? Good. So smart or knowledgeable, um, that's somebody who knows a lot of facts, right? A lot of information. Okay. So we could say people like, um, oh my goodness, <laughs> um, Albert Einstein, um, Thomas Jefferson, people like that, right? So what does wise mean? So if smart means knows a lot of information, right? Knows a lot of facts, so things that are true. Wise means, wise means to make good choices or decisions, right? Wise means to make good choices or decisions. So some good choices or some wise choices, right, that we can make are, let's, let me ask you guys a couple questions or a few questions, right? Do you eat your vegetables every day, right? 
Yeah, some of us, for the most part, or something along the lines, right? Do you always share with your brother or your sister? Always. Do you always share with your brother or your sister? <laughs> right. More or less. It's hard sometimes, right? What about this one? Do you always wear a helmet when you're riding your bike? Right? So those are some pretty um, wise questions. Those are some pretty wise questions to ask ourselves, right? So eating our vegetables so that we know that we're staying healthy and getting the right nu nutrients and nutrition, having good nutrition, right? Sharing, because that's always a nice and kind thing to do, right? And wearing a helmet because that keeps us safe. That keeps our head safe. So before I talk a little bit more about that, what is this big thing that we're in the middle of? What is this big thing? What's going on in the world right now? Right. Yep. The virus. Right. COVID. COVID is happening. And so what were some wise choices that we had to make um, because of COVID? What were some things that we had to do? So some wise choices. So making good, making good decisions or choices. What were some wise decisions that we had to make about COVID? Right, right. Staying home. Staying home was one of them, right? We we said that to make sure that we didn't spread the virus more. We decided that we were all going to stay home, right? What's another thing that we do? What's something that we have to do in class now? Exactly. We're wearing masks. We're wearing masks to protect ourselves and to protect other people because we never know, right? We never know. Uh, what's another thing? What is another thing that you might be doing in school? Um, it might be a little bit harder for some of us young, for some of the younger kiddos than for the older kiddos, but I know um, we're making it work. What's something else? Do you remember? We have those lines. Yes, we have to stay six feet apart, right? That is, um, and that is to try and um, make sure that we don't spread the virus with a cough because a cough can reach pretty far or like a sneeze or anything like that. So that's giving us our own personal space and their own personal space so that we aren't getting each other sick, right? Right. So I'm, so we all know what we should do, right? But do we all make the best decisions? Not just us, right? Everybody, right? Are there people that you see not wearing masks? That's not the wisest decision, right? Are there people who aren't standing six feet apart? Yeah, yeah. And some people aren't um, staying home, right? But that's okay, because we are trying and we're working on it. And it sounds like a lot more people are um, starting to understand that this is really serious and that is that we really do need to follow these guidelines, right? So who knows what's right for us, right? Who knows what's right for us? Yes, good. Our parents, good. What about at school? Who knows what's right for us at school? Our teachers, good. Who else? What about this person? We don't really get, we don't really see this person, but we talk to this person a lot, right? God and Jesus, good. Good. Did God give us any instructions? Like good things that we need to follow? Yes, in the Bible, good. Sometimes we know a lot, right? But we don't make good decisions. We know what's best, but we, we just don't do it, right? And then there are some people who haven't gone to a lot of school and may not think of themselves as very smart, but they are very smart and wise and they make good decisions, right? And so... I want you to all know that you are all very smart, right? And the Bible is here and um, is for us to help make, to help, to help us, sorry, friends, make wise choices and decisions, right? So um, I want you guys to remember that, okay? And before we pray, we're going to talk about um, our, <clears throat> um, our craft that we're going to do today. But please remember that, okay? Please make sure that we're making wise decisions during, especially during this time right now. Make sure that everybody's like washing their hands, okay? For 20 seconds with warm water and soap, okay? Make sure that we're wearing our masks, covering our coughs, okay? And just making sure that we're make, 
trying to keep everybody safe, okay? Um, and with that being said, we're gonna move on to our craft point part, okay? Um, so does everybody have um, some paint? Um, um, some paints, pink and white, um, a paintbrush. Um, and I actually don't have a black marker, but I don't think you guys are gonna be too, too upset if I use a dark blue. Um, so yeah, give me just one second. And oh, and some paper towels. Um, and we will get started. Awesome, so for this craft, um, you are actually going to need to take off your sock. Okay, so we're going to be using our feet um, and we're going to make um, a cute little piggy um, and we're going to go from there. So first things first, um, we need to mix up some paint. Um, the pink that I have is a little bit brighter than what I had um, wanted. So I'm going to um, use some of this pink and then I have some white as well. So, um, and then this is my mixing tray. It's a little Ipsy bag. Um, so I have pink and I'm going to use a little bit more than probably what um, all of you are going to use just because my feet are a little bit bigger. Um, and then I just have this white as well and I'm going to mix that right into it um, so we can find a good, a nice light pink, right? Um, a nice little light pink. And I'm just going to mix those up together like so. Just like that. And yeah, so you'll get something that kind of looks like this. Um, if it's a little darker, it's okay. Don't feel like it has to be um, exactly like mine. And I'm gonna go ahead and paint my left foot. Um, friends, you might, oh, that's cold. Holy cow, that's cold. Um, you, <laughs> you might have to ask your um, mom and dad for help or whoever, grandma, grandpa, auntie, uncle, brother, sister, etc. cetera, um, if you need help. Um, if you are ticklish, um, this is going to be very interesting because Ms. Jordan is extremely ticklish um, on her feet. Um, and so this is a very um, interesting time for her right now. Um, so yes. Okay, um, I'm almost done <laughs> um, painting my foot. Make sure you get all over, right? Make sure you get all over. My feet, like I said, are a little bigger than yours. And you're gonna what once your foot is painted right go ahead and oh no all right you are going to pop it on a piece of paper and it's going to look something like this. Miss Jordan cheated and did one earlier so that she didn't have to wait for it to dry so um, that we could just continue rocking and rolling on this craft. Um, so real quick, let me just wipe the, ex the excess paint off of my foot and we will actually just keep on trucking, friends. Okay. So you'll have something like this. That'll look um, some, somewhat similar to the one um, Miss Jordan has. <gasps> and she got paint on her sweater, so that's a little sad. I'm definitely gonna have to um, try and get that out. That's a little unfortunate. Okay, so your foot will turn, um, will look like this. Go ahead and turn it like this and have your toes pointing towards the bottom, okay? Um, and now what we're gonna do is we have to add some piggy ears, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and add um, some little piggy ears. Oh, 
Um, and my piggy ears are perfect. I'm just letting you know, little piggy ears. Okay, and we're gonna add a little piggy tail too. We're gonna add a little piggy tail as well, okay? Um, Ms. Jordan just needs some more paint on her brush. Um, you're just gonna, I'm gonna take a little bit and we're just gonna add a little piggy tail. Um, and as you can tell, you can definitely tell that this is a different pink than the one that I used earlier. Um, and that is okay. Right, okay. Well, when you're all done, it should look something similar to this, right? We have the little piggy ears, the little piggy tail, okay? And we're gonna go ahead and give him a little piggy face as well, okay? So with your black Sharpie, black marker, et cetera, um, I have dark blue because um, I, for some reason, can't find my black Sharpie, right? Okay, we're just gonna give him a little picky nose. Eee! It's just gonna be a nice little circle. With some little um, lines in it. Nice little piggy eyes. Right. So that's your little piggy, right? And then we're gonna write, um, we're gonna write something real cute and I'm gonna write it and then I will show you exactly what it was. Cool. And then you can put your name at the bottom. And then the year, right? And the month. Okay, so when it's all said and done, remember how we were talking about COVID and staying home to make sure that we keep everybody safe? Well, we have these little piggies stayed home. Okay, these little piggies stayed home, right? So we stayed home and we made sure that we're doing, by staying home, we are doing our part um, to make sure that we keep everybody safe, okay? By staying home, we are um, doing our part to keep everybody safe and make sure that everybody, um, that we try our best to not spread the virus, okay? Um, with that being said, why don't we go ahead? Why, why don't we go ahead and bow our heads to pray? Okay. And we're gonna say, dear God, thank you for helping me make wise choices during the virus. I know not always I make wise wise choices. I know I might not always make the wisest choices in my life, but I know that I have made wise choices during the virus, and I'm doing my part to keep everybody safe. Thank you for continuing to keep me safe, my family safe, and those around me safe. And we love you. And please have a, allow everybody to have a good week. And all God's children said, amen. Good, awesome. Thank you so much, friends. And I apologize for the inconvenience, but again, I wanna say thank you for taking the time to watch this video and do the craft. and. Thank you again, parents, for being so understanding. And I will see everybody next week, okay? Bye, friends.